Good morning friends. I hope you are having a great weekend and uh, wishing all everybody a very happy Republic Day. Now the topic for right now is something that I have struggled with through my trading career which is you know impulsiveness in trading now why does impulsiveness happen you have the best strategy in place you have the best you know plan in place for this you know you have to understand the left and right brain uh, working now left brain is your logical brain you know that is what does your math language and all kinds of logical decision making the right brain is your subjective brain which is intuition uh, you know thoughtfulness uh, trying to uh, do creativity now basically what happens is that the left brain associates work with doing something and uh, the reason why people cannot work for the or wait for the exact point where they have planned to take a trade is because the left brain wants to prove wants them to prove their self worth it attaches performance to your very being which means if you are making money you are a good father you are a uh, you know good son etc and the left brain in driving you towards being in trades where you shouldn't be is really making you more vulnerable to losses and in trading you know you have to understand that if you are not in at the right exact point you will lose and that will exactly get you the outcomes you don't want so impulsiveness in trading is not because of uh, any other factors the reason you face impulsiveness in trading is because there are certain emotions inside you which are outside of trading which drive you to make mistakes 80% of mistakes happen because you want to be in rather than out so the idea has to be that through meditation through you know mind control you know you have to become comfortable with doing nothing sometimes for entire day sometimes for a couple of days because the idea of trading is that profits minus losses have to be a profitable figure 
and uh, what impulsiveness does is it creates debits in your account and it does not allow your mind to be calm when you come into trade you have to be perfectly comfortable with not having to take a trade trading does not equate to work which means that the harder you work is not a correspond to performance in trading and that is the whole problem when people get to work and they are waiting doing nothing the boredom leads to leads them to take trades and everything they had planned they cannot execute because they cannot stomach staying out so you know you have to find some alternate activities where you know you just uh, do those activities rather than take trades people do exercises like they do nothing during the weekends and they practice you know dealing with boredom if you're a restless person if you want to prove to the world that you have made it and you know if you have feeling of inadequacy in other areas of your life chances are you will be over excited in the markets because i mean you can always find some setup you know this bar going above that bar and you know you just take the trade and it immediately fails so till you know you are able to fix the entire uh, you know a uh, system you will not be able to execute somebody asked me if i am telling everything i know on youtube will my system not stop working and it won't because 90% of you will not be able to implement what i say 90% of you have emotional problems which you need to deal with before you can you know execute see technical analysis is known to 80% 90% of the people but why aren't there more successful traders because trading needs more than technical analysis it needs more than techniques so unless you have a very stable mind which can take pressures of different kinds the pressures that you have created of self worth performance and uh, you know trying to be a you know super trader etc 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 that pressure will help you make mistakes so the whole idea is that you leave your emotions at home when you go to trade because if you are carrying all your baggage and why do people keep losing and they keep losing and they keep losing because the winning feeling gives them an outlet for their emotions if you don't feel uh, you know you are a worthy
person just to prove that you are worthy of success you would try to force trades and that is a massive problem that people have that they are trying to prove other things by winning in trading and hence they end up losing there are high probability areas there is uncertainty there are unknowns and in that sort of situation you have to act in those high probability areas randomly acting at places where you shouldn't act reduces your probability to about 50 50 you have to play at areas where your probability of winning is 80% and there are those areas available so this should be it for right now google impulsiveness in trading and you'll find many people trying to address it but the issue always is that uh, different people have different emotional problems and till you deal with them they will come out as impulsiveness hope you have a good republic day weekend and uh, i'll see you maybe tomorrow with a 7 am update